Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. Uh, this uh, video is a continuation of the prior video on output values. In this video we will look at uh, the text output value and the text area output value. And if you look at under the design output these are the two things that I'm talking about, text output and the text area. Uh, so to demonstrate that, I have an init script. It will open up our uh, default sample website, a Mercury Tools website, and I have a action to which is blank. And I will use this action to record and add those output values. I already have the website ready. Uh, let me make sure. I okay, have the website ready, so let me go ahead and start the record process. Okay, uh, here I'll not go through the process of logging in and uh, you know booking a flight. I just want to demonstrate those two output uh, value types. I'll use this uh, uh, you know recording toolbar towards the drop down and do a text output value. I'll click on that. I'll click on the date here at the top and I accept the default going to the global I'll say OK so technically it should have captured the, captured the text number 12 2014 and now I will go ahead and add text area output value and the text area, as you can see, the cursor is like a, a plus mark. And this, you can, it's almost like selecting a text. So it's a text area. So as the name says, I'll select this area. And I'll make sure the whole text is uh, selected. And what it does is it will read that area to capture the value or the text or of that area. I'll go ahead and accept that. And I'll stop the recording. So all I did was... I clicked on the date to capture the data, the text output value, and then I selected an area within the browser to capture the whole text within that area. So that's what we did here. And let's look at the sample data that it captured. So it said a user can sign in. Let me go back here. So probably I might have not uh, did it right. It appears like it captured information from ED, the last two uh, alphabets from the registered, sign in, find. So it didn't capture it right. Um, let me go ahead and uh, redo this thing. Let me go ahead and delete these two and uh, delete these two as well. And uh, go to the object repository. And let me go ahead and delete the output values as well from the repository. So, so in it looks fine. Go to here, and we do have the application ready. Let me go ahead and hit the record button. Okay, then I will do text output value, which is on the date. We know this works. Next, we will do uh, text area output value. And we'll make sure that we drag it correctly. I mean to say, you know, select the area. That should be fine. Okay, let me go ahead and stop it. Close this browser 
and let's look at it it appears like it captured the rare text properly registered user can log in can sign in here to find the lowest fare on the participating airline so it looks all right so let me go ahead and run the script and see uh, what we can find within the run results okay so the first let's go look at the output within the report here so it said that it captured this date there and it says that it captured here let's go look at the data table here the runtime data table let me expand this properly so we have the date text here and the uh, text from that text area so that's how you uh, add uh, a text a text, uh, text output value and text area output value I mean uh, how you use it in real time um, you know it, it all depends right if you want to capture date or you know value certain values into your output you can do that uh, if it, you're trying to do a transfer and then you know after the fact you can capture the balances you can capture any disclaimer text uh, just to review as a part of the test process so again you know uh, the the actual practical need is driven by uh, the business application that you're working with okay well um, and uh, you know that's it about the text uh, output and text uh, area output we will look at uh, the database uh, output values in the next video